Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and if you're new here, welcome. I do homemaking style videos such as home decor, cleaning motivation, organization, and I like to do recipes here and there as well. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join my community here on YouTube by hitting that subscribe button down below and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy these types of videos. It just helps my videos go out for others to see and enjoy as well. Today we are decorating for spring. I am also going to be sharing with y'all a really yummy dessert right after I decorate. So stay tuned until the end for that. If y'all love strawberries, cream cheese, cakes, Maybe you're catching on, you're gonna love this recipe. It's a fun little uh, kind of a cake bar. You'll see after we decorate, we'll jump into all of that. But I am going to be decorating my tablescape and I'm gonna kind of show you what I did with the side as well. I kind of over here by the side of my table, I have a little cabinet. I'll show you what I did there. But I usually say this before I do a tablescape, even if you're not setting your table, this is easily transferable on to a side table or a mantle, a fireplace mantle. It's also good for maybe any kind of long shelf that you have so you can, definitely take inspiration from this for the tablescape, which is what it's meant to be. So stay tuned. Either way, I have tons of spring inspiration for you today. Anyway, y'all, I am so excited to start decorating. So let's get to decorating for spring. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna start off with this beautiful piece of purple material that I had cut at Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to use it as my table runner. It's just an inexpensive way to have a really beautiful table runner, and also I feel like you have more options searching out material. Next, I'm going to take this smaller glass cake stand that I got at the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago, and I'm gonna place it at the center of the table, and then take a napkin and do the exact same thing that I did in my Valentine's Day tablescape, which I'll link that in the description box below if you have not seen that yet. It's very much a spring summer tablescape as well that you can get some inspiration from, but I'm just gonna kind of take the napkin and tuck it under the top of the floral arrangement just because I love this floral arrangement, but I wanted to have more pattern to the vase. So this is just kind of a fun, unique way to do that. And y'all, if you've been following along for a while, you know I love my terracotta teapot that I found at a local flea market. It is one of my favorite pieces that I found um, a little less than a year ago. I have incorporated it into several of my looks, but I wanted to retire it for a little while, but I am bringing it back. And I'm going to add some beautiful faux tulips and thyme to the teapot and pitcher, which the pitcher is new. I found it on eBay, so if you're looking for something similar to this, you can actually search through eBay and they do have some for purchase at least at the time that I'm posting this video I've been trying my best for a while trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box trying to be like the rest but I'm not I just want to go my own way gonna let the past burn down cause honestly don't want to be stuck in more income with you with you I'm gonna now I'm just gonna add some candles as fillers in between the flowers. Plus I feel like the candles always make a tablescape look more romantic. And I actually got these at Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna add some tissue paper to the bottom so that the candlesticks don't wiggle around. So I'm not going to use garland on this particular tablescape, so I'm going to fill in some space in between the cake stand and candles by adding a couple faux carrots that I actually got at the Target Dollar Spot last year and a touch of greenery that I got at Hobby Lobby last year. I know I have to be somewhere else To be able to find myself Shouldn't be so complicated If I listen to my heart I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start over now Next, I'm going to set the table by using these floral plates that I got at Hobby Lobby this season and the black plates that I got at Hobby Lobby during Christmas time. And the white plates are actually from the Dollar Tree from last spring. They might still have them. And I cannot remember where I got these chargers from. They may have both either been from Hobby Lobby or Target. 
All right, y'all, so we are gonna set the table real quick with the beautiful plates and charges that I just previewed for you. And then stay tuned because right after I set the table, we are gonna make some delicious strawberry shortcake bar. So stay tuned for that. Now, usually I like to have the table set at the ends of the seats styled a little differently from my center seats, from the plates to the napkins. So I'm just gonna kind of show you how I'm going to do that here now. And if you were wondering, these napkin rings, the floral napkin rings that I'm gonna use on my white napkins for the ends are from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, you got me tingling like we're on a Ferris wheel ride. Now for the center seats, I'm actually going to use dish towels that I found at the Target dollar spot either last spring or the spring before that. And I'm gonna use them as napkins because they are just, they're thin enough. I thought the colors were beautiful and place them in between the plates. some cozy emerald pillows to cap off this look. And these pillow covers you can find in my Amazon store, which is linked in the description box below. All right, y'all, so that completes my spring tablescape. You'll have to let me know what your favorite part of this tablescape is in the comments below. But don't click off yet because I'm going to share with you a strawberry shortcake bar recipe that is so, so delicious. And it is made from scratch, but it is a more simpler recipe that is made from scratch. So you're not going to want to miss this. It is going to be a party or even just a family after dinner dessert favorite. I promise you it'll be great to bring to a barbecue. So enjoy this overview of the tablescape and then we will jump right into the recipe. All right, y'all, time to make the strawberry shortcake bars. I will link the recipe in the description box below, but to start out, you are going to add a half a cup of softened butter and a one cup of sugar to a mixing bowl, and then mix those two ingredients in really well. Now that those two ingredients are mixed in really well, you are going to add in two eggs and let that mix in for about a couple of minutes. Now you're just gonna add in one teaspoon of baking powder and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Then you are going to take one and a half cups of flour and three fourth cup of milk and gradually mix those two ingredients in, alternating the milk and flour like you see I'm doing here. And once that's all mixed in, you are going to add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now that that's mixed in well, you're going to add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. 
Next, take a nine by 13 inch baking dish and make sure you grease it up with your favorite oil. I'm just using coconut oil spray. I personally find that coconut oil does way better under extreme heat and I'm always able to get my cakes out of the dish more effortlessly, but you oil up your dish and then add in your batter and bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 18 to 20 minutes. Now while that's baking, I'm going to make the icing. It's only three ingredients. I'm gonna start out by adding the eight ounce package of room temperature cream cheese and a half a cup of powdered sugar and mix those two ingredients in really well. Then add in eight ounces of your favorite whipped cream. I just used a eight ounce tub of Cool Whip and then mix that in well. Next, I'm going to chop up about a pint of strawberries. You can use more or less. This is more of your preference. When your cake is done, let it cool down completely and then add your icing on top of the cake and then sprinkle your strawberries on top of that. Now, a pro tip for those who are in a rush to cool down your cake, I do this every so often when I'm in a hurry, but you'll just take your cake and place it in either the fridge or freezer, but make sure you put a dish towel or something under the baking dish so that it doesn't heat anything you set it on top of. Y'all, this strawberry shortcake bar is so so extremely good. I could not recommend it more. And if y'all try this, you'll have to tag me on Instagram. I will link my Instagram handle in the description box below or hop back on in the comments here and let me know how you liked it. But y'all, I'm telling you, it is such a delicious treat. I know you're gonna enjoy it. All right, y'all, so that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as I have more spring content coming your way. In the meantime, if you wanna check out my Valentine's Day tablescape, it is very much a spring theme as well. I will link that in the cards and in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.